Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm Thumper Cat. This is our review of the NECA Aliens Private Jeanette Vasquez or Vasquez. Vasquez. <laughs> I say Vasquez, because look, it's got a it's got a Q and a U. Qua. Vasquez. No. Okay, Vasquez, whatever. <laughs> but there she is. This is one I never really thought they'd make, but I really wanted them to, because she's really cool in the movie. One of those memorable characters. <laughs> <laughs> she was kind of the uh, Michelle Rodriguez of her time. Hmm. <laughs> here's a little picture that says 30th anniversary. And there's a picture of her on the side. And on that side, more pictures of her. Then in the back... They have a description. You can pause it if you want to read it. There's the other people you can get. My well. helmet's too big, man. <laughs> well, let's open her up. Oh, in case you're wondering why the background's all weird, it's because we're at camp and we're making a background to use that will work. Cause I we're making do, so get used yeah, to make it. it. That's what it is. Improvising. <laughs> So there she is all opened up. We just spent like 15 minutes trying to get all her <laughs> weapons and stuff together because it was tough to do. And we're just going by what the package shows and it's a little hard to see. And we actually... Yeah, they make the picture grainy on purpose on there, but then it makes it hard to see where everything goes. Like uh, this arm thingy here, Zombie Cat figured out how that attaches. It's kind of weird. But this wire here plugs into something. I mean, there's a hole right there. But it doesn't fit in there. That's like a round hole, but then this is like two wires. So, And we don't have Google because we're at camp and there's no internet or nothing up here. So can't look it up. Don't know where this damn wire goes. Looked all over a headset and this thing. I just don't know where it goes. It's got to go somewhere. But whatever. Let's just ignore that part for now. <laughs> Other than not being able to find out where that goes, I really like this figure. I really think it goes either in her but in her butter or vagina. Well, it probably does. But yeah, this figure is really cool. They did an excellent job on her face, sculpting everything. That bandana looks pretty fucking awesome too. Mhm. Mm Look how detailed that little thing is. You mean that face is freaking amazing? And they got her little. What does that say on there? Something in Spanish. El race go siempre baby. Something about something. <laughs> I don't have to look that up. Kick them in the face and then the ass. That's what it says. <laughs> but I really love how they made this big gun and all the uh, wires and everything that's hanging off of it. And this little crazy arm that actually is articulated a little bit. Yeah, it took me a minute to figure that out because it like clips into a piece that's attached to her waist. Now you can see it's clipping in right there. If you can see that. And then there's this piece back here. Just like the other Marines, it's kind of hard to get the peg to go into the hole because it goes through the armor and then into her back. And the plastic's real, real... It's a really long peg too. Yeah, it's... it's and I tried to get it in there and it just does not want to stay. Um, this wire just popped out of there. And, uh, it's got a little handle on it, too, so she can use it for other things, I guess. She's got her headset up here. And then there's this little thing, I guess he, what's he talks through or something? Or no, I think it's an eyeball thing. Shouldn't it go over her eye? It mostly does. <laughs> Maybe this one's not on completely straight, because it kind of doesn't go over her eye completely. But it has this articulation. It's cool and it's a little flexible wire. And I think this wire would probably break if you stretched it too far. So don't turn her head too far. But this is a really detailed figure. I'm pretty impressed with it. Even. I really like the paint on her pants. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, they are. They're really nicely done. The boots are pretty good too. Look at that. It's got real hair hanging off of it. And it's got pouches at the back of her. Why don't you call that armor, gear, vest, 
thing. Chest plate? Mm hmm And they gave her her muscular arms. She's going to the gun show and she's got three. <laughs> I really like the the look of the gun. It's an awesome big gun that she had in that movie. BFG. Yeah, pretty much. And I don't know, just the look of it's crazy. And it's got this extra arm which I don't know, I guess it helps stabilize it or something. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool. It's like one of them, let's make it look like it needs that. <laughs> <laughs> and I like her headset and everything. Looks pretty cool. And it also comes with this blast feature. With NECA doesn't really do this often. I don't know if they've really done this before, but you get this little piece you can stick in there. Make it look like it's shooting. Yeah, it looks cool. And it's a little bit translucent. Might be hard to get it back. There we go. Just a tiny bit, though. Yeah. It's hard to get the lighting where we're at right now. But I think that looks pretty cool like that. I'll probably display it without that. But still, it's a cool option. There's a couple things that I noticed if you look at the preview pictures of NECA's prototype of this figure that they didn't include. And that would be the little teardrop tattoo that is under her left eye. It's not on my figure. And also on her gun, it's supposed to say adios. But it's not on here either, so... I don't know if they decided that was too small to put on the actual figure that's going to be sold. I don't know. But it's not there. And we talked about the faces a little bit. I've seen a couple in Toys R Us that I think looked a little better than this one. But this one's still pretty damn good. I'm really impressed with this face. Like some of the NECA's faces, like the Rambo figures, were very bad. And then they, when they released Ripley, that looked awesome. And then this was just like that one. Whatever they did here, I don't know if it's paint or what, but it just looked really good. You can really see the detail of the sculpt on this. I seem pretty much straight. I would say part of it has to be either the plastic choice or the paint. Because part of what was bad on Rambo is they used that weird, almost translucent, yeah. flesh-colored plastic. It just looked weird. A couple of the early Dutch figures from Predator were like that, too. Looked like they stopped doing that. Now we're going to go over articulation. Before I take the gun off, you can see its articulation. See that it's connected up here. There's like a joint there. Yeah, it unclips at that silver piece. And then there's joints here too. Double joint. And up here too. There's a lot of joints on this thing. That's pretty cool. What? It unclips from the silver piece. Oh, right here. Yeah. Ah! That's where you attach it. Yep. So that's a separate little articulated piece. And up at the head, like I said, you've got to be careful because you don't want to break this wire. I've had figures that were like that before and the wire broke. Some of the Terminator figures. Especially when they get older because those pieces tend to get brittle. Mm -hmm. Then you got this little thing that moves there, a little eye piece that doesn't fit. <laughs> Well, I guess maybe she's got to be like looking over. I don't know. It still isn't quite right. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit off on mine. And 70 articulation. No. And up the shoulders. It's a little bit hindered by this shoulder it's pad. It's pretty good considering how big that is, though. Yeah. And there's a single joint, single hinge joint here. But it can also spin. And down here it just basically spins. Now the torso. Go back and forth a little bit. Not much. Then at the legs, it's a little tough at the legs. I was messing with it. See, this leg can kick out forward. But this one wants to go out to the side. And that's because of where this is turned. And I'm not sure if that can be changed or not. Well, they actually, yeah, there's different types of joints in there. That's weird. So I'm not sure if these legs can move the same. But. 
and you just have to pose her creatively. Yeah. <laughs> Down here at the knees, I could spin, and also go like that. And down at the ankles, it could spin. Those shoelaces are really good. Yeah. So her articulation is pretty good. Decent enough. She's probably not really going to need articulation that much for most people, because you're probably going to have this gun on her. and Just have her post like that. Yeah, because... Which she does well. <laughs> no. But if you wanted to take the gun off her and move her around... That's pretty decent articulation. One problem is you can see there's a peg hole in this armor here, her vest, jacket, strap, whatever. And then the peg hole goes into the body too, but they're not lined up. And that's why it won't go in all the way. And it doesn't really seem like they can move it. I think it's glued in place. So it's just not gonna go in all the way. But yeah, that's a long peg. It's supposed to go all the way into the the actual figure. Here's a close look at this headset. It's done pretty well. Like even where it goes across her head, they did a good job of keeping the paints where they're supposed to be and not messing it all up like they do sometimes. Mm -hmm. Where's that wire going? Down into her back somewhere? Hmm? I guess so. This wire here. Yeah, it goes down underneath. Hmm. So, looks pretty cool. So there's Vasquez next to three of the other Marines. You got Windrix and uh, Hudson and Hicks over here. So they might actually get all the uh, Marines made. Also got Frost in the same wave that this Vasquez came out. So that's cool. Hopefully they make the other ones. They definitely need to make her buddy. I don't know if it's her boyfriend or just her like best friend or whatever. But I think he also has a similar gun to this. I need to make him for sure. And there she is next to uh, Bishop and Ripley from the same movie. So there's all the, all the human characters I got from the second movie. Not counting Frost who I haven't opened and reviewed yet. But I should get Newt soon since they're coming out with the Ripley Newt 2 pack. Which will be cool. Cool. Super cool. <laughs> And there she is next to an alien. Xenomorph warrior. So, I really like this figure. I'm really happy with it. I'm just excited they actually made this figure. And I think they did an awesome job on her face sculpt. And her bandana and her hair. And her all of her like, head accessory type stuff. And her pants and her boots. And, and her, her gun. In her armor. Everything. The only thing is, is, I don't know where the hell this goes. I need some directions. We'll figure it out. We're probably going to do have to do some fixing on her, too, to get that peg to fit in her back. Yeah. That is probably some, some of the other Marines had the same problem. But I really like her. I think she's a really awesome figure and happy I got her. Yeah. They did an excellent job on all of her paint. She's, she looks really good. And she looks just as badass as she does in the movie. Yeah, she looks like she's not taking any of your shit. <laughs> well, this is Mr. MTs. And I'm Zombie Cat. Hey, Vasquez. You ever get mistaken for a man? No. Have you? <laughs> You're mean. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you can subscribe, Nate. Oh.